But if the ball's back here, I'm gonna hit it out right. If it's in the middle, I'm gonna hit down on it and it's probably not gonna roll that well. If it's too far forward, look where the putter's going. Upper back muscles almost right here, like these are going like that. I mean, there's others that just rock the shoulders that her left eye just runs right down in line with the golf ball. So I'll hold this up dead straight. Hands out, rotate them in, tuck, and then tilt. Now watch, you always. I'm set up the right way. There's obviously the old school way of having the ball up here, dropping the ball. I just like picking the putter up like this, right to my right eye, and I can see the shaft line right down in, in line with the ball. Perfect. The next one, are my hands truly under my shoulders? Let gravity take over. Oh. Or how about too close like you would have been? What would have happened? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay, that, that, that's a big one. So we have eyes over ball, we have hands under shoulders, and we always have our hip joint over our ankle. So there are three lines. You can draw one line there, one line from hands down to shoulders, and the other eye line down to the ball. And that's what we do. Let's do that. Hey, you want to hear something even cooler that Todd Stone's taught me? Really cool. Top of the wrist crease down to the toes is a perfect straight line. What do you notice? That's A squared. The horizontal from the toes to the ball, that's B squared, a perfect right triangle. So if you find out the distance of that and that, what does it give you? The perfect putter length, C squared. I never thought I'd be using the Pythagorean theorem again in my life. <laughs> but A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And maybe we'll get Todd on, on to collaborate with him on our YouTube channel and we'll show you the cool device that Todd has to fit putters that gets you in the right position every time, okay? So here's the thing. What an easy way to check shoulder alignment. It's my favorite checkpoint right here. Brian Stark was doing this every single putt the entire US Amateur this year at um, Oakmont. Made it all the way to the Elite Eight. Here we go. I'm gonna say my shoulders are very closed. I wanna find out. Let the hands hang. Oh. How about if they're open? Or how about this? Square. Very cool, right? Now, from the face on view, ball position. Nose and sternum are the top of your pendulum. Okay, now ideally in a putt, we would be hitting slightly up on it with a de-lofted face. Being a tennis player, why? Top spin on the ball. Yeah. You got it, buddy. You said it right away. Well, having the ball just ahead of center, one inch, would mean if I put the grip right in line with my zipper and held it straight down and had the ball left of that, that would be the right ball position, just one inch ahead of center. Now, what I like to do for my players is I like to then take the butt of the club and look how small this is and just press it a tiny bit over the top of the golf ball. What did that do? It took, oop, it took that three degrees or four degrees that the putter has of loft, it negated it, and then the most important thing we understand in a stroke, we don't change our wrist crease. There's none of this happening, okay? It just stays, look at this, look at my wrist. They stay firm and constant. That helps me to have that putter slightly de-lofted. The ball position helps me slightly hit up on it without having to try to back up and hit it up on it, okay? Look at where this ball position was. This is what was natural right here. So let's just kind of look at this. And you know, when she was putting that ball that far forward and she said her miss is left. Here's the reason guys. The only reason why the ball needs to be even ahead of center is you don't want to hit down on a putt. You want to hit up on it. Ideally, you know, you think about tennis or you know, something with topspin, you know, you hit up with a de-lofted you know, racket, well it puts, puts topspin on it. So ideally with putting, if, if this is the dead center of my stance where I just, you know, where I hold the, hold the club and that's what I want you to do. Go to zipper and just hold the club straight down the ball should just be just ahead of that. And then here's what's cool. If the ball's just ahead of that, that's just in front of the top of my pendulum, so naturally the putter's gonna start swinging up. Now, if I then take the butt of the club and give it the slight couple degrees of press that move the handle over the top of the ball, well, what does that now do? Ball's just forward, I'm gonna hit up, slight press, I'm gonna hit up with that slightly de-lofted face. And then not only am I gonna have good face control, but I'm gonna hit it right through the equator of the ball and it's gonna to put topspin on it. For you, when the ball is that far up, think about it like this, guys. If I had the midpoint right here yeah. and I have it like this, there's a natural arc that's taking place. Look at this. I'm kind of illustrating that arc right now. I'm exaggerating a little bit. But if the ball's back here, I'm gonna hit it out right. If it's in the middle, I'm gonna hit down on it and it's probably not gonna roll that well. If it's too far forward, look where the putter's going. It's already swinging left. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing about it was, 
from how far left you had it, Ash, your putter was back here and the putter was like this. You would have had to have literally pushed that thing like this and held on for dear life just to hit it straight. Mm -hmm. So really, it's all ball position. It's all ball position. This is the place right here where you have the least amount of time to manipulate things in your stroke, right? There's no time. The butter's going back, it's coming through. So with the, such a small motion, if you have something preset out of position, it's gonna very easily return back out of position. But look how there's a rolling dead on line now. It's a good roll right there. Yeah. Very important to understand, if our viewer is pulling putts, if you're, if you're pulling it, immediately check ball position. It's always probably too far forward. If you're pushing them, check to make sure it's not too far back. Those are the things that you do that are basic, and, 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 then, and then we start looking at the stroke. Here's, here's the fix though, because it's, it's easy just to tell you to move the ball back. Mm -hmm. It is you getting in there. And I used to love starting off with, you know, my feet together like this. And I would have that ball just on the, on the big toe, basically. And that's just ahead of center. And you can see how I do that. And then I just equally distribute. But you can see how my putter, it comes up to my zipper. And the ball is just ahead of that. And then all I'm doing is just bumping the handle just forward a little bit to just get rid of the loft on the club face. Okay. So, yeah, you start off like that. That's a good Ooh. little pre-shot routine. Probably feels like it's a mile back right now. Yeah. <laughs> Stay right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna want you to stay right there. I want the viewer to see this and I want you to see it. If I were to hang this putter literally from your left eye, do you see that? Mm -hmm. Boom, right down there. Knowing that this is an inch ahead of center, my eye over here. So just holding that putter up from my eye and making sure the shaft runs right down into the golf ball. Okay. All, all simple checkpoints. Yeah. Getting that left eye right on top of the golf ball. There you go. Still yeah. one end, wow. Yeah. So the funny thing was, you know, for the viewer, a lot of her putts were missing left. That was as a result of the ball being too far forward. And the pass so was strange. already going to be going left by the time the ball was struck. So for the junior golf parent who's, here, you keep, keep putting there. For the junior golf parent who's watching this or somebody who cares about the other person they're watching and they want to help out their game. I'll go like this actually. And I'll just close one eye and all I'm doing is making sure that her left eye just runs right down in line with the golf ball. So I'll hold this up dead straight to make sure that's the case. So for ball position from this perspective right here. And then I go around oh, here and then I'll hold up from her eyes in general, a dead straight line that then drops right to the inside edge of the golf ball to make sure her eyes are over the golf ball. So you can see Ash has her eyes right over the golf ball. Her left eye is right on top of it. Well, dang. Yeah, and, and there you go, right? Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I, and I want you to know, just never look at your stroke until you look at your setup. Okay. Here, here, go ahead and set. Go ahead and set up again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something here. I'm glad you asked that question because that was the next topic here. Bring your arms up. Clamp that in. I know it feels awkward a little bit. Hit a putt with that thing clamped in there and tell me how that feels. See how perfect that stroke was. I mean, that, you, I mean, you hit obviously. I don't, I don't care about speed, but you yeah, yeah. you hit that like perfect. Now, do you feel what that does? Try see if you can tell me what that does without me telling you. Um, it makes you just like rock your shoulders. Yeah. Did you, did you feel like literally you did had zero hands when you hit that? Yeah, like zero. Zero hands. And what's cool is, Kev, get down there on a worm's eye view of the stroke. Do a good job holding your finish. Okay. On this one, you can do this with alignment rod, guys. A towel can work, but I like the alignment rod a lot, or just a, another club. This will be a very frozen face through impact right here. Yeah. Yeah. And all that does is it shows you where the connection is built in putting. Uh -huh. You should have your core slightly tight, okay? Like you're doing a sit-up. You should have your elbows pulled in, not on the side of your body. Then your hands become overactive in front of you. And when you tighten your core and the elbows bring, come in, well, now you can really hit the ball with the triangle here, right? Yeah. And, you know, I've heard people say they hit it with their upper back muscles almost right here. Like, these are going like that. I mean, there's others that just rock the shoulders. You know where I feel it from? Honestly, I feel like I hit it from, like, right here. I feel like it just, the center just moves with my hands, just, right? Okay. So, it, but, but that's connection and putting. Yeah. So, when I get over a three-footer and I'm, and I'm jittery, I'm not sitting there worried about what my hands are going to do because I built that connection from here and I feel like my core and my hands are all connected and the putt is being more hit with my body as opposed to just simply my hands. Okay, the grip pressure, like, is it I kind feel of like it's the same in both hands? Honest to God, I mean, here's the thing. 
I feel like it's a five out of 10. I think you hold on to it. Five out of 10 is not squeezing the life out of it, but it's also at the same time, it has control of it. What happens to me if I'm gripping like this, the putter's, if somebody tells me one, two, three, four out of 10, the putter's gonna move in my hands. Yeah. Okay, I grip it to the point to where I feel like I have control of it, but I'm not strangling it. I do feel like I'm really like, I'm, my dad used to do this to me, he used to come up to me and be like, are you ready? And I'd be like, what? Yeah. He'd be like, you ready? And he'd throw a little hook right in here. And he wanted me to tighten up. And he's like, I need you feeling the same way over every golf shot you hit. That tension gets built here. Tension's built right here. But right here, I'm a, I'm a five out of 10 at all times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I never really like, thought about the, the core. Core. Dude, when I'm telling you, you're going to have a big putt this next semester to yeah. win a tournament or get a great finish. And I'm telling you, you're going to remember this uh -huh. and get behind it. In through the nose, out through the mouth, relieve that, relieve that muscle tension. Keep your eye right on your line. Walk in, connecting yourself right to that line. Tighten that core right there. Feel like you're pushing down into a scale when you stand on the ground. Like you're pushing down and almost adding weight into that scale. Mm -hmm. That gets the body locked in. Okay. And then you can soften up those arms and guess what? Right down the line. But this right here is great because it's a straight putt no matter what. It yeah. paints the picture of a straight line to the spot that you want to aim. So you got to read it correctly in order to get it running online and then you can run it down that line. So for you, something like that would be great for just going around the green, picking different putts, putting the ruler down, that tests your eyesight to see if you got the right break. Yeah. And then after that, your alignment gets better from using it, your stroke will be more connected and as a result of putting on that as well. So practicing, you know, and then, and then when you get off the ruler, I recommend only being on that for, you know, if I had a session for an hour, yeah. I'd only be on that thing for like 10, 15 minutes yeah. and I'd be going around hitting random putts, not sticking in one spot, practicing my process. Go behind it, read it, walk into a spot, set up, hit it to your spot. The arc of your stroke is not created in your stroke intentionally. It's your hands that travel straight back and because the putter's at an extension from your hands, even with the hands traveling straight back, the putter naturally arcs. But the biggest thing is understanding the hips staying right in line with the ankles. We don't want any sit back there. But the big ones, the putter and the forearms being a direct extension of one another. The ability to anchor and have those elbows into the body. Now watch this guys, I'm not gonna go to the side of my body on the seams of my shirt because now my hands have to get overactive and they're jammed. They're in front of my body. So this elbow is really in the front of my body here, splitting the difference between my sternum, the center of my body, and the seam on my shirt, the side, right on the side front. Does that make sense? Now, what's really important to understand is part of Tiger's success, you know, in having that one-handed drill, and I know he always says he's working on his release, but it's the stability you get from having your arms rotated in the right spot and having that elbow really connected to the body. That controls the path of the stroke and even can control the face angle. And under pressure, that really stabilizes the stroke. Okay, but back to the hand positioning and being where it is. If I were to have the right length putter first, have the elbows in the right spot and tilt over the balls of my feet the right way, well, my eyes would be directly over the ball. My hands would be, if I let them just hang, directly underneath my shoulders. Here's the big key. If my hands are outside, the person's gonna really be swinging around them. If the hands are in a lot of times, the putter will actually kind of sometimes even push out. And there's really nowhere to go, right? So what I like to have my, my students understand is when the hands hang freely underneath your body and you have that connection of the arm to the body, the path really gets to become a lot straighter, a lot longer. Okay, so, so first things first for you. Get the putter direct extension of your arms, anchor to the right spot, my mentor, Todd Soans, one of the best putting instructors, in my opinion, the best putting instructor ever. He really helped me understand a simple phrase he used to call rotate, tuck, and tilt, which was absolutely incredible. Hands out, rotate them in, tuck, and then tilt. Now watch, he'd always have us step forward over the balls of our feet to tilt until the putter hits the ground, and that really keeps the hips over the ankles, the hands under the shoulders, eyes over the ball. See so you do that. Beautiful right there. So Kev, get behind him right away. Right there, you'll see the hands 
are hanging freely under the shoulders. He has the space he needs to here. He's a little more out over the golf ball playing golf underneath him and not around him. Here's the thing, if you read greens incorrectly or you can't line up to that spot, you got like a 100% chance of missing the putt yeah. if, you're, if you're rolling it perfect. So my big thing with my guys is I wanna make sure, I wanna make sure that I have, number one, you can read it. Number two, you can align to that spot. And number three, you can roll it online. Everybody practices rolling it online, mm -hmm. but nobody practices the process of all three. So this is our training aid. This thing is as simple as it gets. The boys love it. I mean, I just, a bunch of the players been using it. Um, it's, it's a straight putt no matter what. Oh, nice. <laughs> and you know, here's what's cool about this thing. I, I've just, you know, after watching so many strokes over the years, Yeah. Putting plates are great, you know, I, yeah, awesome. You know, you can do the same thing here with two tees directly on the outside of that. You can put two tees to frame your putter on this thing. This is the train track for your putting stroke, mm -hmm. okay? Here's the cool thing. Five inches of the back stroke should be dead straight back before it that starts to naturally arc. Yeah. For a player like you who's getting it offline, you know, this thing paints the picture. So what's great is you don't even have to, you don't even have to have a ball in there. You can just get the putter down and just practice the path of your stroke. Does that make sense? And it's understanding that, you know, your hands are going straight back, straight through. Your putter's on a natural arc. Yeah. But what I'm trying to illustrate is this. From here to here, that midline should be knifing that line right there. See that? And then watch, watch it start to naturally arc after that. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. And that's where you can get on there and paint that picture for yourself. The great thing about this thing is you can pull the ball up. There's a little groove right there, so you don't have to bend down. You know, we're hitting a putt right here that's just, you know, pretty much just inside left edge. But you come back here, you can line it up and make sure you're spot on. But what's really cool about it is, say this putt was like six inches outside left edge. Mm -hmm. You know, people's stroke change oftentimes, but, you know, depending upon a left to right putt or right to left, mm -hmm. this thing keeps you hitting a straight putt no matter what. Okay. So does that line up pretty good? I think it's pretty good, right? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. But there you go. You can kind of, you know, get your ball position settled in. And I'll explain to you why those lines are such. So check this out. Five okay, inches. that's sick. Five inches of your backstroke should be dead straight before the putter naturally starts to arc. Okay. And we have that illustrated. And nine inches, no matter what the break is, if the putt's over three feet, pretty much starts on a dead straight line before it breaks. Okay. We have that illustrated. Wow. So it's pretty cool. It's, 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 it's really the most cool. simple thing I've ever made, but I'm telling you, it's probably one of the best inventions I possibly could have had. So simple. And it's so compact. I like that. So compact. You're taking this one with you, by the way. Aw, thanks. Of course. What I like about that, though, you know what's cool about it? It really trains your eye, too, to seeing what a straight line is, you know? Mm-hmm. I need help with that. Setup's perfect there, Ash. It's awesome. Thanks. That couldn't go. be any better though with the uh, Yay. couldn't be any better one. with the backstroke too. It's like every time every time I'm watching it, you're making that line on the training aid disappear. So here's the other part that I like about this aid. We just figured out now, okay, you come back here and you're like, oh my gosh. Look where this putt has to start. And you guys come back here and take a look at this. This putt's literally starting out here, which when you look at that without the aid, it's kind of like, how many people are gonna aim right here? And then try, and like their stroke does what? Kind of pushes, pushes it out it. online a little bit. That's exactly what happens. And then on this putt over here, we kind of pull it online a little bit. That's like every good golfer does that. And I and think that's unbelievable to see even great, great players. They, they get on the left to right, right to left and their stroke is altered a little bit. That's the reason we call it the straight putt no matter what. So when you get it lined up, it's gonna help you roll it end over end every time regardless of the break you're playing. But what's cool is this, check us out. So you just hit a putt right here mm -hmm. and it had to have a really specific speed in order to go in with that break. Now you put it on repeat so you get to work on your feel as well and being able to work on repeating the stroke and having the same feel, mm -hmm. so it's cool. So now it's like in order to make that putt, if you hit it a little hard, it's over the top edge, a little soft, bottom edge. Gotta be perfect. I like how simple it is too. Like, it's just a really simple visual. Go ahead and set up to this one. Mm -hmm. So you can set this perpendicular like that. Mm -hmm. And there's the oh, back of the Oh, for the... Ball. Yeah, and now you have line. ball position. Oh, I love that. And, you know, and I'll slide this back just a little bit for you there. This should be literally your new station that you use all the time. 
I actually you should, really like You that. should do 25 right to lefts mm -hmm. and then do 25 left to rights. Okay. And then have a couple straight ones as well. But this is like, to me, your new station right here. It's perfect right there. And what's great is, you know, for a line putter too, you know, just getting this thing like this mm -hmm. and just being able to kind of really see, train your eyes to make sure you're just lining everything up perfectly. Mm, rolling end over end perfectly. Yeah, so just put in a, you know, put in some reps on this and then, you know, both sides of the hole and you have your little T line there to be able to help you with your ball position as well. Mm hmm I like this a lot. At Porzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.